operators program in the previous session we have discussed what are the operators are available in arithmetic operators today i'll just i'll will go for two example programs so that we can easily understand the uh, what are the arithmetic operators are available and uh, what is uh, every operator we have specific meaning we will see the those operators now and we will see the programs also now uh, we will write one program before going to one program uh, we will recap the what are the operators are available in arithmetic operators so what are the arithmetic operators are available first plus addition operator the meaning of this one is it adds two numbers it adds two values Example C equal to A plus B. Second one is minus operator. Uh, it subtracts <coughs> values. It subtracts one value from another. Example c equal to a minus p third one is asterisk operator or star operator this is known as multiplication operator which multiplies values on either c operator example c equal to a star p next one division operator forward slash okay <coughs> is division operator divide left operand by the right operand example c equal to a slash p we will see the all the example programs as well you don't worry next modulus operator this is known as modulus modulus operator means which gives remainder of division c equal to a percentile b this uh, next exponent operator two star, if you are writing two numbers here then operator or a power operator also we can say which calculates exponential power value a double star b the meaning of this one is a star a a, a power okay next flow division operator if you are writing the two slash here, it is known as floor division operator. It is also known as integer division.
which performs division and gives only integer quotient. Only integer quotient. Example C equal to A double slash B. Okay, these are the operators are available in arithmetic. Now we have seen all these operators. Now if we write one example pro, uh, program so that we can easily understand. So now I'm going to write one example program based on these arithmetic operators. First, let me open IDLE. I will write one, I will take a new file here so that we can write. Example. Program on arithmetic operators. All the, arith all the arithmetic operators. Just now, whatever we have seen now, I will tell you the examples. So let us take a equal to 10, b equal to 2, print a plus b. Now we will do plus operation. Or C equal to A plus B. Directly I'm writing here A plus B, no need to take C also. This is addition, addition operator. Second one print Subtraction operator A minus B. We should print A star B. This is multiplication. Next to print, what next? Division operator is pending, right? A slash P. That is A slash P. First I am writing one uh, for understanding for us. Then I am writing the variable values of A slash P. This is division operator. Next print a double slash p. So this this is integer division. So we don't get generally we will get the float result. To avoid the float result, we will write the a double slash p. So we don't expect any float result here. integer division or floor division next to print next to modulus operator a percentile b this is known as Modulus remainder which gives remainder modulus operator.
next what next exponent operator is pending right which is exponent so the we we have seen the output here. Uh, now we have to save this file because we are using the a uh, new file so first we need to save and choose any folder generally i write these programs in a let me create one program a uh, folder operator okay arith so no need to write the extension dot py automatically it will take now we have saved the python program file successfully now what we have to do we have to execute this program yes you can see here a plus b equal to 12 so first let me write to equal to also here if you write equal to then it is more understandable more readable now again save this file now we will execute if you press f5 also no problem directly if you, uh, if you press function key f5 also it will execute so first a plus b that uh, we know that a value is 10 b value is 2 so 2 plus 10 a uh, 2 plus 10 that is value is 12 next to 2 minus 10 so value is 8 uh, 10 minus 2 that value is 8 next 10 into 2 that value is 20 next 10 slash 10 by 2 so result is 5.0 okay next uh, a double slash p os oh, here i have written some again save it run it again yes so a double slash b means we will get only integer part if you write only uh, only single slash we will get the float result okay but i need integer result means floor result then i have to write the two times next a percentile b so remainder is zero A, uh, a square that is 10 uh, 10 square 10 square means we know that that is 100 this is the output so let me write here the output means it is comment if you write the three uh, times quotation it is comment line so the same program now uh, i will explain on the board so that uh, double slash and uh, <clears throat> these things you can understand easily so value is a equal to 10 so a equal to 10 b equal to 2 so first we have seen print a plus b
comma a plus b the meaning of 10 plus 2 so we will get the result here 12 <coughs> next print a minus b that is 10 minus 2 so result is 8 next print a star b a star b a star means 10 into 2 that is 20 so here we will get 20 next print what next print a slash b right a slash b why I am writing two times here? Have you observed here? Because to more readability in the output only, I am writing here. If you don't write this also, no problem. Directly you can write A slash B also. We will get the result. But I want to uh, make it more readability. For readability point of view only, I am writing inside the double quotes or single quotation. So that we can, user can easily understand the result output. For that reason only, I am writing here two times. So one is for to display the output variables to display the values. One is for variables. Second one is for values, values of the variables. A slash B. A slash B means A means 10 slash 2. What is the meaning of this one? 2 fives are 10. So <coughs> here by default it it will give 5.0 float result we will get next print a double slash b I don't want to take this float value here then I have to write floor division operator then I will get only 5. <coughs> Next. Print. A modulus 5. A modulus B. What A modulus means? Remainder. Remainder. This is quotient. This is remainder. So remainder is 0. If you write only division, we will get the quotient value. If you want to write percentile, uh, if you want to uh, take the uh, remainder, you have to write the percentile. This is quotient, this is remainder. Remainder only we will get. So zero. Next. <coughs> uh, exponent operator, right? Next. Print. A double star. B. So in C language, we used to write power of power of function, but here we'll directly use the two stars. You cannot write C language like this one because there is a one pointers concept is available. So uh, that is a different uh, program. It will become X A double star B means 10 power 2 10 power 2 means uh, <clears throat> 10 power 2 means that is 100 so this is the output we will get by writing the all the arithmetic operators we have used in this program so hope you understood first 12 8 20 5.0 100 5 0 these are the outputs now we got this one and uh, we will see un one more program so that we will understand completely the arithmetic operators now I'll share my screen oh, I'm stopping
one more program one more file we have to take arithmetic operators example 2 a equal to 10.5 now i want to take float value here b equal to 2 print of a plus b directly i am writing here print of a minus b next print of a star b next print of uh, division operator a slash b next print of a double uh, slash b means exponent uh, flow division operator next print of a percentile modulus operator next print of a exponential operator a double star p so now we will see the result first before going before executing this one we need we must save this file arith2 arithmetic operators arith2 i am giving the file name so on if press f5 or directly through menu bar also we can go with this one see the here yeah, this is the output 12.5 8.5 zero. this is the output we are getting here A plus B, 10.5 plus 2. So result is 12.5. Next A minus B, result is 8.5. A star B, A star B, that is 21.0. Everything we will get here float a result because at least one float is there output uh, result is float value only in the previous program uh, two variables uh, integer variables only but here one variable is float but result is also float next 5.25 here 5.0 you just look here though we are asking the uh, integer division but it it is giving <clears throat> 5.0 means only uh, 5 only it is taking but uh, 25 is ignored okay but this result is float only though we are asking the integer result next a percentile b a percentile we mean 0 0.5 next a x a power means 10.5 power 2 so that result is 110.25 so this is the output of this program This is the first program. So here we will write, just write down the slash operator always perform floating point with arithmetic. So it will always returns float value. 
but flow division or integer division that is double slash can perform both floating point and integ integral arithmetic so if values are integer integers then output is integer if at least one way uh, one value is float then result result is float okay <coughs> just look here if at least one value is integer then result is integer previous both are integers here here both are integers a is equal to 10 b equal to both are integers only okay so result is also integers so at least one operator one value is float then the result output is float only that is the meaning of that one so here in the first example you can see here here by using the division operator so division means we will get that is 5.0 but i don't want 5.0 so then flow division we have to use actual accurate means a slash b so in i'll write one more example here example program ideally let's look at the example rajendra plus 15 what is the value now now can you expect i want to perform addition it leads to error because <clears throat> we have to use string both, both the strings then only it will be concatenated okay i have to write like this rajendra plus 15 this string type okay we, we can we can use plus operators for string type so both here both uh, parameters must be strings only otherwise it leads to error. we can use plus or star operators first if we want to use plus operator for strings then both parameters meters should be string strings only otherwise we will get error okay so example this one so if you want to use plus operator for strings if you want to use plus operator for strings both parameters here both uh, 
parameters means here the, we have using here two parameters so both must be strings only you can see here why we uh, got error here because one is string second one is integer so it leads to error so both must be strings here to rectify that error i kept here both are strings here though it is a number but if you write in uh, within the double, uh, single core or double code it will become string actually it has now i have performed here concatenation not the arithmetic operation but this place operator is used for both operations in uh, here one is uh, concatenation second one is addition So of example to one more example I want to write here. Rajendra star ten. Okay, can I do this one? Oh, that means <clears throat> it it comes ten times. It comes ten times. So if I write ten star Rajendra. So both are equal. So this is the examples. But I cannot uh, perform like this 2.5 into Rajendra. So it leads to error. Okay, so what we understood here. If we example two, if we use star operator for string for strings, then we must use one parameter. Should be int integer and other parameter should be string type. Example So one parameter is string. Another parameter is integer. This is integer. This is string. Next. We cannot multiply. We, we cannot multiply sequence by non integer integer type that is float example this one so which leads to error Next, one more example I want to tell you. Now, uh, just check here. <coughs> A equal to 5. Next, 
a slash zero. Uh, no, uh, no, I cannot division by zero in programming language. Okay, it may be C language or Java. We cannot perform uh, slash by zero. Division by zero cannot be performed. So it always raises error, runtime error. So it is not possible in programming languages. One more note. We cannot perform zero division. Which leads to if we do if we perform zero division it leads to runtime error don't ask me what is runtime error that will be seen in future classes so you can write just error example this one Okay. 